All right, so I'm going to show you a couple zoom and pan basics in ScreenFlow. Once you get the hang of this, it's going to make doing this pretty easy for you. The way you're going to want to start is, uh, for example, in my case, I'm going to find a little zone where I want to zoom in. As I can see, my mouse is going up here, so I'm going to want to zoom in here to get a little closer to what's going on, for example. And then I'm going to make sure that this is highlighted. This is where your video actions are going to go. So if this isn't highlighted, you won't be able to click on your video actions. So make sure that's highlighted. And you're going to find this in video properties. You've also got audio and, and text properties and everything else, callouts. So I'm going to create my video action. And now what I'd like to do is zoom into here. Now if I just click and drag, that's not going to do it for me. It's just going to take the whole thing and make it smaller and it's going to be all out of proportion as you can see. So what you're going to want to do is hold down control and you can zoom right in. But even better than that, you want to hit down control and shift because if you hit shift it'll do everything in proportion, making it much easier. So everything's in proportion. And now if I just hold down shift and drag back out, there we go. We've got our zoom. And then we could choose how long we want it to take to zoom to that point. So one, we'll, we'll say two seconds. That's great. So that's going to create this. So there we go. We go into the details there. And let's just say that we probably want to be out of there around here. So now I'm going to create another video action. Make sure to highlight this again. Video action. And I, I always make sure to click on this just to make sure that I've uh, got the correct one selected. And then what I'll do here is I'll hit shift, bring it, minimize it, and then I'm going to hit control, shift, and drag just until I get the whole screen back. So there's a whole screen. And then from here I can just shift and drag. That's going to give me my whole screen back. And then I can, of course, adjust how long I want that to take. We'll go ahead and make that two seconds. And just for this video, I'll drag it close so you can just hear it. You can see it zoom in and zoom out. Okay, so that's basically how that works. There's, there's of course, other things that you could do. You could, if you want to, let's say, not have the bottom in this, you could certainly drag out like this. And as you can see, I, I can zoom in there. Or grab this angle. I could zoom into this corner just by dragging out. And let me check here. No, that's not going to give me. What I notice is if I drag out, it stops me at a certain point. So I can't really get in quite as cl close. So the first technique that I showed you is will, will get you in a lot closer. But if you just, for example, want to get rid of your, uh, you know, the bottom area where all your programs are to give more real estate to what you're trying to show people, you can just hit shift and get rid of that, just like so. So I hope that's helped.